It's Tuesday, March 6th, and your stories today are PayPal gets on board a crypto train, Bittrex bans accounts, and millions of dollars sit in an Ethereum Genesis address. world, welcome back to The Comet. For your first story today, PayPal joined a growing list of fintech companies looking to capitalize on cryptocurrency markets. The payment provider filed for a patent with the United States Patent and Trademark Office for an expedited virtual currency transaction system. According to their application, PayPal is looking to create an improved mechanism that will allow its customers to transfer cryptocurrencies similarly to its current methods of fiat transfers. Their filing had this to say, quote, a 10 minute wait time will be too long for payers or payees, and those payers or payees will instead choose to perform the transactions using traditional payment methods rather than virtual currency. Issues like this have slowed the adoption of virtual currencies despite their advantages, thus there is a need for an expedited virtual currency transaction system, end quote. Just how PayPal aims to speed that process is still a bit unclear, but I'm willing to bet it has something to do with a second layer solution. I don't know, it's just my guess. We'll be following up on this story as it unfolds. In other news, Bittrex has announced that effective of March 9th, it will no longer support accounts for residents of North Korea, Iran, Crimea, Syria, or Cuba. The company stated that the changes stem from a terms of service update that deals with restricted locations and that, quote, you may not use the services if you are located in or a citizen or resident of any state, country, territory, or other jurisdiction that is embargoed by the United States or where your use of service will be illegal or otherwise violate any applicable law, end quote. In an additional blog post, the company further clarified that currently U.S. law prohibits Bittrex from doing business with residents of countries that face economic sanctions levied against them by the federal government. And finally, a Genesis block is the first block of a blockchain. The Genesis block is almost always hard-coded into the software of the application that utilizes its blockchain. It's the first block to have been mined. For years, people have been sending Bitcoin to Bitcoin's Genesis address as a good luck charm. The Genesis block serves as a wishing well of sorts for the community. Throw in some crypto to the Genesis block and ask for your crypto Lambo, I guess. I thought the tech community would believe um, be a little less superstitious, I guess, but who knows? I wear the same t-shirt to bed the entire NFL season, so who am I to judge? Yes, Genesis blocks have received a little pocket change from time to time, but Ethereum's Genesis block received a small fortune, over $500 million actually. In total, the Genesis address has received over 750 transactions in three years and today holds 7,000 Ether, worth roughly $6 million, as well as more than 200 different ERC-20 tokens, which are worth a staggering $517 million. There are two ways to look at this. Either a lot of you are making the same mistake or there's now a lot of lucky people in the world. That's our comment for the day, but what do you think? Are you excited to see what PayPal comes up with? Do you agree with Bittrex's decision to comply with the government? And who has the private keys to the Genesis address? Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. If you like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you didn't like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you get all the newest episodes of The Comment as they air by clicking that alert button. That's that bell looking thing next to the word subscribe. If you missed our latest episodes, you can catch up on ethnews.com or on YouTube or just subscribe so you don't miss them anymore, silly. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ethnewsy. That's at ethnewsci. And we'll see you next time.